Hey, Visant here. In this video, we'll look up Hidden Ability Among Us. Alright, so Hidden Ability Among Us is Regenerator. And Regenerator is that when it switches out, it re receives one third of its maximum HP back. But I have a dilemma with which den you guys should go to. Um, so we do have a purple beam den, which is den 120. And then we have a red beam den, which is den 154. The thing is that the purple beam one had a 15% for a 3 star and 25% for a 4 star. And then the red beam has 50% for a 4 star and 25% for a 5 star. So I think 3 stars and 4 stars spawn higher than the 5 star. But it is a purple beam. So getting that is could be a little annoying. But I'll let you guys decide. I'm just going to show you guys both of these. Um, we're going to go fly to the dojo first. We'll do the purple beam one first. I'm probably going to hunt on the red beam one. Just my own personal preference. So we're going to go over here. Do soothing wetlands. I believe the den is like right on a swamp. Uh, hopefully I can dodge all the Pokemon here. Oh ho. Chudo. Alright. So this is the... What did the Chudo come from? All right, so we do we did run into Chudo that Ramley just popped out. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. But this is the den that you want. So what you want to do is save in front of this since you want a purple beam, right? And then we're going to press home. Once we press yes, if it's red, you restart the game. So you keep doing this. Um, but we're going to go to the red beam and then I'll show you the time skip trick that we can do. All right, we're back here. Um, so the red beam... It's pretty much the same as the Gigantamax one, except it's the purple beam, you want a red beam. So we're going to go to the challenge road for the Tower of Darkness here. We're going to make our way down. Dodge all these mons, hopefully. Get to the base of this mountain. And I'm just going to throw a wishing piece in here, and hopefully it's not an event beam. If it is, I have to like go somewhere else and dump the beam, or you can beat it. Alright, it's a vent beam. So you have to throw in a wishing piece somewhere. And then come back. Uh, let me... Oh my god, why is it all event mons? What the hell is going on? I have to go back and forth. Alright, finally it's not a vent beam. Maybe you want to do a purple beam because of this. Alright, so we're going to do a time tip trick. If you're in a purple beam, you can do the same thing once you get your purple beam. Uh, you go to home, system settings, system, date time. If you have that on, turn that off. Increase it by one day. Press OK. And then you quit out of the room after you do the invite others, right? So. And now you keep doing this until you get an Amoongus. Alright, we got Amoongus. Come on, hit an ability. Generator! Oh yeah. That was quick. I feel like the ar item armor is super quick on, on these things. Uh, get some stab. End this. Hopefully you guys have good luck with your purple beams. Probably easier, you have to go through the event then over and over. That was so annoying. I wish you can like toggle it just to turn off events. Like it by default will be on, but you can like turn it off. Just in the menu. Come on, wreck it. Uh straight to shields. Hungry now. I get hungry all the time. Belly's gonna get Amoongus. <laughs> ah, my puns. Alright. Come on, come on, come on. The ingrained. Do we have a Wobbuffet? Oh, we have a Wobbuffet. Minus one attack, guys. I have my music on? Oh, interesting. Okay. Dude, the ingrain and his grassy terrain. Yes, I shard that sucker. My move.
Oh man, the Wobbuffet not attacking. Oh, if Wobbuffet attacked, we could kill it. <laughs> Alright, hopefully it hits Wobbuffet and the Wobbuffet does like Miracle or something or counter. And it actually is the right type. Damn it. It'd be Miracle. And. It's the turn because we have a wobble bit. See, we just needed one more hit. And since I am host and it's not an event beam, I get guaranteed catch. I'm gonna throw a premier ball for my H8 abilities. And there we go, right? Easy. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please give it a like, comment what you want me to do next, or if you have any feedback, I'll take that. And also subscribe for upcoming more videos on these. And also check out my live stream. I do stream these as well, so you're welcome to come by live and suggest something, or you can actually join live. But anyways, thanks for watching. Later days.